Hi there, Stanton here from Olga Trading. Welcome to the next video while I take the Larry Connors RSI2 strategy that we did in the previous video. If you didn't see that video, please watch the previous video. It's um, it's called the Larry Connors RSI2 strategy. Um, just to see how to download the, the EA from the code base. But what I'm going to do is show that this is mostly for the South African viewers or if you do have access to trade the Aussie. I'm going to show you how to use the same strategy and optimize it for the Aussie. Okay, so let's open up our, our trading platform. And you remember we had the Larry Connors RSI complete st strategy, which was when we added the extra features to the basic code base strategy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to test this, but I'm actually going to test it against all the symbols in my market watch to see which other symbols the strategy performs on. So just while this is done checking running the optimization so I've got 16 symbols in my market watch so basically what it's doing right now is running through all of these symbols and seeing what strategy does it perform on or what symbol it performs on sorry. So it does take a little bit of time just to run the optimizations. It's almost done. And there we could see. So performed pretty well on the S&P 500 and on the Aussie and on the Euro US dollar. So these were some of the performances that we're looking for. Um, S&P 500 is quite good performance over here. So we could probably run the strategy on, on the S&P 500 as well and on the Aussie. So what we want to do now, we want to just run it on the Aussie because that's the, the purpose of this video. So I'm going to change this to to our local markets. I'm going to run it on the Aussie. And I'm just going to change some of these inputs because so what I've done, I've already saved the inputs that work for the Aussie. So I'm just going to load those. I'm just going to load the Aussie so you could see what changes here. We have a lot, a lot size is starting at 2 and we're going to test it up to 20 lots to see what we get the best results with. Fast MMA period is, is 10 as compared to 5 in the previous one and our slow MMA period is 160 as compared to the 200 in the previous one. Also our take profit is a lot bigger and our stop loss is a lot bigger due to the, the volatility of the Aussie and it moves in a lot quicker through the pips. Okay, so we're just going to test now to see how many lots, which is the best number to use. Let's just start at 2 and we'll go up in 2 just so it doesn't take so long to run. And we're going to run it against the Aussie over a 3 month period. And let's just give it a test. So basically you've taken the exact same strategy that we did before, but you've just changed some of the variables. Um, you could actually pause the video and update those variables to suit your needs. Again, very important that you do put the, the check in to check for, to check for um, the, the new candle because the Aussie does move quite quickly and you can hit your stop loss multiple times within the same candle, which I've done plenty of times myself. So it's very important that you do put that code in that checks for the new the new candle. So you can see uh, I'm quite happy with the results here. So if you want to risk quite a bit of quite high risk, 25% drawdown is much too high for me, but you stand a chance of profiting 24,000 Rand over a three month period, which is not bad. Um, 18 lots seems to work quite nicely, but still much higher. Drawdown is much too high. So I like to keep it around the three. No, f above five for me is just uh, too much of a risk for drawdown. Um, so like you see, I've got here, I've got multiple strategies running. So I'll be happy with you know profit of uh, two or three percent per strategy per month is what I would generally be looking for. Okay, so that's 
So that's the results. And they're fairly good results. So let's just run this as a single test and we can see the trades. And let's just go back to our results. So we've got a drawdown of about 2.59% and 3.5%. So over the three month period, let's actually just test it for one month. So we're going to just disable that. We're going to have two lots, so we're going to just keep this all standard. And we're just going to test it over the three month period. And let's just run that. Okay, we've got our results. Let's have a look at our trades. So you can see here, uh, you can see our losses. And you can see none of the, the losses happening on the same, within like a couple of minute period. So you can see yeah, uh, that hit the stop loss. So we took a loss of 270, 242. And then we're just going through our trades here. we took a couple of losses there in a row but you could see they were not straight off to each other that was the one day the next day and so it's about an hour later and finish it off with a nice one on that one and and that's basically the results of the Aussie I'm running the strategy live it's it's a very nice strategy to run And fairly good results. So a profit of 3,640 over a three-month period, I think is pretty good. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for our next video when I start actually going to some program itself. Like I said in the previous video, I'm not going to be teaching you how to program. I'll just show you some of the, the EAs that I have been programming and talk you through just some of the basic steps. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Hope you enjoy the video. Cheers.